Hello and welcome to High School Basketball on WOSN. Alongside Jerry Snodgrass, I'm Evan Skilleter, and tonight we're in Elida at the Union Bank Court for a big time district semifinal between the Alanis Mustangs and the Delphus Jefferson Wildcats. Really looking forward to this one, Jerry. It's the second of two games. Ottawa Glandorf advancing after beating Parkway, and the winner of this one gets to take on the Titans. Yeah, you took the words out of my mouth. I was going to say that right away. I'm really looking forward to this. Two pretty well-matched teams. Allen East coming in at 21-2, and two. Jefferson coming in at 20-1, and 6-1 and and one in their conference, but at the same time, both teams 6-1 and one in their conference, but... Uh, should be a good matchup and watching these teams warm up. There's some good talent on the floor Absolutely, and these two teams did face off once this year Allen East Winning that one. Yes And we have the starting lineups being read for you. We'll read them as well first for the visiting team on the scoreboard the Delphus Jefferson Wildcats they start with Madison Burris, Liv Lindemann, Kirsten Moore, Carolyn Mueller, and Lauren French on the other side for Allen East. They start with Savannah Brooks, Ryland Jones, Aubrey Young, Dylan Miller, and Soraya Jackson inside. And two teams that match up well on paper. You've got some size inside. You've got some great guards on the outside. And ultimately, it's going to come down to who's throwing the punches and who's taking them. Sure is. And if we saw the you know physicality of the first game tonight, if that's anything like this, this will be the same way. I'm really interested in the matchup between Soraya Jackson and Lauren French. Yes. You know, French is averaging almost 14 rebounds a game. Uh, definite uh, factor in there. But then again, you know, we were concerned a little bit with Liv Lindemann, you know, and her status tonight, but I think she's okay. Liv Lindemann nursing an ankle that she rolled in the last game against Paulding and immediately passes to the wing, a three pointer on the way, no good. Your scoreboard tonight, sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Ryland Jones now sets things up for Allen East, gets the high ball screen. You'll see a lot of those here this evening. Now Dylan Miller. Miller up top, Aubrey Young. You know, based upon that quick shot that time by uh, Jefferson, you know, you can just kind of tell the pace is a little bit pretty fast so far. And the Mustangs kind of slowing things down here. They've extended this possession a bit. Dylan Miller attacks. Now Aubrey Young, nice long possession from Allen East as Soraya Jackson loses the handle, gets it back, Good goes up hand. with the left and in. Uses the athleticism, and now the Mustangs with some full court pressure. Trying to force Lindemann outside, just making things tough on her tonight. As we said, she's got that ankle injury. She's a tough player, and she's really what makes this Jefferson team go. Here's a three on the way. It's no good. And ball goes out, but Aubrey ah, Young on the slipped. line. Yeah, she had it and she slipped. You know, but picking up full court like they did there, you know, that really helps slow that thing down a little bit and, you know, disrupt the offensive flow of Jefferson. Maybe Jefferson inbounding from that awkward spot in the corner. Yeah. They send it up to Lindemann. Now French, here's that matchup you talked about. Savannah Brooks comes down. They give it right back to French. He makes a move, doesn't score, goes back up. Second yeah. attempt does go. I, I'm impressed. I'm impressed with her footwork, her ability to go straight up, and just her athleticism. 2-2 Two -two on that scoreboard. Mustangs come the other way. I talked to Coach Montgomery before this game as Lindemann's going to get tapped with the foul. And he said basically what I opened with. We need to throw the punches, not take the yeah. punches, right? Yep. And I think Coach Lindemann on the other side thinking the same thing for her team. Two really well-coached teams. Some great programs in the Northwest Conference. That's what I like to see, too, you know, a rematch of, you know, a great game earlier in the year. And, you know, obviously two rivals. Now Brooks gets inside. Brooks sends it out. Miller for three. Miller no good. Rebound falls out to her, though. Ryland Jones now. Jones goes inside. French is there. Yeah, there's quite a bit of size difference there between those two. French was right there. Ball in the corner. Back up top is Jefferson. Trying to get something on the board. They already have something on the board, and there's an awkward yeah. play there by Lindemann. And 
They say their ball stays with Jefferson underneath. Yeah. And that was that left ankle that we talked about as she came down a little bit awkwardly. Yeah, but yeah on, and she was tripped on that ankle too. Now gets a high ball screen. Jones takes a tumble, but the ball swung around. Here's 20, Kirsten Moore. Moore looks inside. Now the skip pass, and it's too high. Intended for Carolyn Mueller, and the Mustangs get it back. You know, and you said you talked to Coach Montgomery before the game, and I'm very impressed in this early on about, you know, their ability to play defense. It's a team that will pressure you all over the court. A lot of athletes inside and outside. Soraya Jackson, a great volleyball player. Looking like she'll play at the, at least the Division II level in college. Now Savannah Brooks, a player that will play at the next level, gets the rebound and gives it to Jackson. And she has all of their four so far. 4-2 the score on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken Free Throw, or excuse me, scoreboard. Here's French. French outside for Moore. Moore floats one toward the basket. She can't score. Jackson gets the rebound. A nice job navigating through two defenders to get it to Jones. Jones doesn't take her time as she goes up with the left. Can't score. Jackson grabs the rebound. Put back no good. Still wow. fighting for rebounds. Now Brooks, mid-range jumper no good. And finally, French able to pull it down for Jefferson. Lindemann now quickly the other way. She's waiting for the screen. Instead goes the opposite way, navigates through the whole defense. Wow. I guess that shows why she's averaging just under 30 points a game. So comfortable navigating through traffic. She gets her first one to go. Under four minutes to play in the first quarter. Here's Jones. Jones goes to the rim, can't score. French with the, bat, the rebound, excuse me. As good as she is at getting to the hole, it, it, it's tough, I think, with all that, you know, all that size in the paint. Ball now to the corner. French to Mueller. Mueller, quick trigger. The three, no good. Rebound pulled in by Moore. Moore double teamed inside, tries to get it away and does. And that's a two-point attempt that goes up and over. And it'll be Allen East basketball. You know, Kristen Moore on that, you know, she got that backside rebound. I watched her as that shot was going up. Good rebounders do that. They, they just have a sense knowing when that shot goes up, they know where the ball's coming off at. I mean, that's a, you can't coach that. You just have to have that innate ability to understand angles and, you know, all that. And uh, she's very good at that. I could tell she's a good rebounder. A lot of people will tell you that comes from just playing as a kid, playing outside. It does, and just correct. The more looks you get at the ball coming off the rim, the better three-pointer on the way. That's no good. And it's Jordan taking the three-pointer. Now we've got a foul at the far end. Aubrey Young will get sacked with her first foul. That's the thing, too, about Delphus Jefferson. You could just tell, and I could tell this during warm-up, they're just very athletic, extremely athletic. So is Allen East, but, well, you know, you've got size and athleticism, too, and uh, that's, that's tough to beat. You can see why they're entering with only one loss. 4-4 four, four the score. Screen up top. Now a shot from the corner. That three from Burris, no good. See, once again, there she is. French outside, another three from Burris. That yeah. one goes. You figured one would fall. And that one sponsored by Laudix Jewelry, your family owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Yeah, sooner or later, one of those was going to drop. His own look here from Jefferson. Brooks takes a three, can't hit. Fight for the rebound, and it will be a jump ball possession. Will stay at that end. They're going to have to hit a couple of those because that's something that they have a hard time really getting anything clear, even though Jackson already has, I think, four. But they was, those were on rebounds. Those were on second chance uh, shots. But uh, very tough. They're going to have to hit from the perimeter. Pass goes up over the top to Dylan Miller. Jones gets it. 
And they swing it all the way around the Lindemann there. Lindemann quickly to the corner. And here's Kaya Kimmett who goes up and scores. Nice move. We saw Kimmett in the last game. Yeah. Now Kaya Kimmett with the bucket. Extends the lead to nine to four. Skip pass to Dylan Miller. Now Jackson. Big lineup for Allen East as they send Taylor Nichols in as well. That one finds the hand of Burris. Pardon me, that's Kimmett. Now Lindemann, pull up, Whoa. three goes. And 12 points now with Lindemann with five. And the Mustangs call timeout. They trail 12 to four with 119 on the clock. We'll step aside as well. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Tonight's timeouts are sponsored by Spallinger Millerite Services. Spallinger Millerite Services is proud to support the Allen East Mustangs. The team at SMS offers quality products from fabrication to installation, located on Hanthorn Road and online at Spallinger.com. And tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. You know, if you're Coach Lindemann that time out, all you can really say is just get your hand up. I mean, you, you can't stop her. I mean, that's just all there is to it. Yeah, that's super tough as Liv Lindemann now with five points after a pull-up three. Mustangs back to work. Three from Miller is short. Offensive rebound and put back by Riley Jordan, though. Much needed. Jordan's first bucket finds herself in the right place at the right time. Lindemann sends it to the corner. It's Kimmett. Kimmett looks around. Burris now, French. And French, the nice wow. pass on the nice cut from Kaya Kimmett. Kimmett now with four points. Defense kind of fell asleep there with the ball at the high post. Yeah, it did, you know, and I, I tell you, I am so impressed. I am so impressed by French, Lauren French. I mean, she's good footwork, saw that back door, good pass. Ball with Dylan Miller. Miller stops, kicks it back out to Jordan. Now Jackson goes inside. She's fouled. And we'll have two Jones S. Excavating free throws. R.D. Jones Excavating, serving your excavating needs for over 50 years. Visit R.D. Jones Excavating online to set up your next excavation project for your home or your business. Good luck to all area athletes and go Mustangs. First free throw from Soraya Jackson, no good. I think that's going to be a big key. One, they have to hit their free throws, obviously, but at the same time, they've been given a lot of perimeter shots. They need to start dropping. Jackson's next free throw up, and that does go 1.9 on the clock. And Jefferson will just let the clock run out. So 14 to 7 is your score after one quarter of play. Delphus Jefferson on top here in Elida. We'll be right back with the second quarter after this on WOSN. Tonight's three-pointers are sponsored by Loudix Jewelry, your family-owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at loudix.com. Welcome back to Elida for the start of the second quarter here where Delphus Jefferson leads Allen East 14 to seven in a rematch of a big NWC matchup earlier in the year, in which Allen East won. Ball inside, shot up off the glass, no good. She was a little off balance that time, I think, when she did that. Jones. The other way, quickly, turnaround jumper, no good. Jackson right there for the follow. She can't hit. And you said they need to hit from the perimeter, yeah, but some of these yeah. second chance opportunities need to fall as well. And Lindemann called for the offensive foul. 
and that's her second foul. But you know, even there, I'm going to say this. You know, here she is, gets an offensive foul. You know, you could say she's probably questioning that a little bit. Doesn't say a word, gets back down mm. and plays defense. Love that in a player. Referees will not change their call nope. just because you <laughs> disagree. Right. I promise you yeah. that. <laughs> Nice turn by Jackson, but French keeps her feet, alters the shot. That's a nice matchup inside. That's good. That's fun to watch. Now pass to the corner. It's Kimmett. Now Lindemann. She'll get a screen. Thought about denying, but good defense from Alanis Richardson. Yeah, she's got a tough task. Now they go to French. French turns to the inside. Little body there. Not able to finish. Fans Tell you what, though, a what, a nice, what a nice move, though. Jones takes the contact, can't finish, gets her own rebound. Jones goes up there, can't hit the second one. She's still scoreless. As a matter of fact, so is Savannah Brooks, yeah. the two leading scorers on this team, two first team all NWC players. That one almost goes out, but I think uh, Burris able to keep it in. I think Coach Montgomery saved that one. He may have. Now Kimmett, French, some space, shoots, no good. Brooks with the rebound. They're getting the looks they want, that's for sure. Delphus Jefferson is. Now Aubrey Young, they want her to shoot. Now she does. It's no good, but Jackson on the back side grabs the rebound. And she's fouled immediately. It's really a good physical matchup between Richardson and uh, uh, French on the inside. This Mustangs or Jackson, team. I'm sorry. Sure, Jackson, yeah. sorry. This Mustangs team really trying to get things going at the rim because, like you said, those outside shots just haven't yeah. fallen yet. Now they throw one over the top. It's Richardson. Here's Young. Now inside, Jackson can't hit though. Gets her own rebound. Now Lindemann with the steal. Lindemann to the basket, goes up, no good. I think she jumped a little bit early there. Yeah, she did. I think, you know, going that speed and dribbling, I think it's really tough sometimes when you're under pressure to get your feet collected right. I think that she was just a little bit off balance there. Ryland Jones will check back in after just a quick break. Still 14-7. Not a lot of points on the board. Two great defenses going at it, just like we saw in the yep. first game. Brooks, good footwork. There she we go. finds the bottom of the net for the first time. 14-9. Press broken up to Kimmett. Kimmett, nowhere to go with it. Now passes over to the left, tipped by Brooks. And again, we're talking about a pretty physical game right now. Pick and roll, French gets it, runs into Jackson, but a good spin and Whoa. goes underneath. Lauren French with the big bucket. I tell you, you can tell with it, with a move like that, that's the second time she's done that. She's well coached, and she's played a lot of basketball. Aubrey Young pulls up, and it flushes in. Aubrey Young. Young with her first bucket. Back to within four of the Mustangs. Lindemann dribbles up top, now sends it out to the right side with Burris. French with space. She thought about it. She attacks, draws the defender out, but good defense from Aubrey Young. Yeah, stepped right in where needed to be. Now Jones. Five-point lead. Still a five-point lead. Aubrey Young with the rebound. Jackson thinks about it. Now shoots. No good. I think that was in her head a little bit. Yeah, you know what I mean? Waited a little long. Yeah. That's tough when you're a shooter, you know, like you're wide open and you got to shoot it, but 
but but there might be a better one, but I got to shoot it. That's tough. Ball on the sideline, and now a foul. Brooks tacked with one. Only her first and only the first on the team of the quarter. Claire Brinkman checks in along with Carolyn Mueller. Here's Lindemann. Moore. Lindemann guarded by Jones. Thinks about going left. Now steps back. Puts up the three. It's off the back. No good. And Jones will watch it go out of bounds. Did a good job, though, you know, of getting inside, backing up, shooting. That takes a lot of skill to be able to do that. It's always fun to watch players that have just a deep bag of tricks. Yeah, right. right. So they can step back. They can get around you. They can shoot from outside, shoot from inside. Here's a three. That's going to be off. Rebound tipped out by Lindemann and a foul against Ryland Jones. That'll be her first. You know, and I keep saying this about Kristen Moore, but even there, checking out, boxing out from the perimeter like that, and that's why she got the foul. You know, she drew the foul. A lot of times you see games like this come down to the role players. When you box out when you get rebounds, when you work hard. The coach loves it. Here's a three from Jefferson. It's no good. And the rebound, though, falls to the Cats. But a pass out of the trap and it ultimately ends up with a foul from Lauren French. And a great job by Dylan Miller that time. Stepping in front of that, saw where the pass was going to go. Stepped in, took it, and drew the foul. I talk about rebounding and, you know, turnovers and things like that. I think people would be amazed sometimes when you take a look at afterwards in a normal game, in a fast-paced game, there's probably maybe, maybe 55, 60 possessions in a game. In a game like this where it's a lot slower, not that many possessions. Every possession is valuable. Aubrey Young's three, no good. Right now, Jefferson in a 1-3-1 one, one zone. Three-pointer on the other end does go. Loud it's jewelry three. And that's Kristen Moore with the bucket. This 1-3-1 one, one zone kind of forcing yeah. Allen East outside. They say, you know what, beat us with your shooting. If they do get inside. Richardson not able to hit. Yeah, but then again, that's, you sorry, know, that's you, get something, you get something open like that, and you've got some tall timber in there. No question. They have Lauren French at the bottom of that 1-3-1. One, one. French taking your time. Hands to Lindemann and a foul from Aubrey Young. That's her second, team third. A couple substitutions. Kimmett and Burris check back in. And Riley Jordan checking in for Allen East. You know, if I uh, check the stat sheet properly, that was Moore's first three on the year made. That is what I have as well. Unbelievable. She took it with a lot of confidence. Pass over the top to French. And look, she caught that between two good defenders yeah, and did. was still able to keep the ball high and finish. Good pass inside, too. Ten-point lead for the Wildcats. Only 11 points for Allen East. But when you've got that inside-outside combination, you know, of Lindemann and also French, that's, that's tough. That's tough. Jones can't hit. Good sportsmanship at the other end as she helps Moore up. Here's Jefferson with Lindemann. Probably thinking about the last shot. Oh, stripped away though. Riley Jordan takes it. And at the other end, yeah, Riley Jones bucket. puts it in. Her first of the night. Twenty seconds on the clock. Here's Lindemann. She's got to get separation. Finally does. Up top with Moore. Here's Lindemann. Ten on the clock. Well, I'm sure they've got a last second shot for her. Lindemann step back. Three on the way. No good. The second effort from French is no good. And it doesn't matter whose ball it is because the clock hits 
zero. Low scoring first half, but great basketball as Delphus Jefferson heads to the locker room with a 21 to 13 lead. We'll step aside as well. Second half coming up after this on WOSN. Tonight's free throws are sponsored by R.D. Jones Excavating. Serving your excavating needs for over 50 years. Visit R.D. Jones Excavating online to set up your next excavation project for your home or business. Good luck to all area athletes and go Mustangs. Tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken where home style happens here. We welcome you back. To the start of the second half, Evan Skilleter, Jerry Snodgrass on the mics, Jacob O'Neill on the camera work. And we've got a low scoring but good game here in Elida as Delphus Jefferson leads 21 13 over the Allen East Mustangs. And Jerry, like I said, I mean, not a high scoring first half, but we've seen some pretty good basketball. Yeah, we have. You only seven total turnovers. You're Allen East with three and uh, um, Jefferson with four, but. You know, I wonder what they say. You know, I always think, well, what, what, what did they say at halftime? And I really think, you know, now in East case, what did you say they were from uh, outside? They were 0 for 8 0 from for outside. 8. You know, but I'm sure that, you know, coach is telling them, still shoot it. You know, sure. keep shooting. They're going to fall. That's how you build confidence in it because they're giving them to them. At three off the mark, French inside gets the rebound. Shot no good. And we only had two total free throws taken in the first half. Not a lot of shooting fouls. Brooks, quick trigger three. That's no good, but Young's on the backside for the rebound. Now Brooks, mid-range jumper. That one doesn't go, and that's another storyline we're following is Allen East, two leading scorers, only have two points apiece. Jackson, mid-range shot. That's no good. French grabs the rebound. And it's tough for Jackson. I think she's a little frustrated, you know, on that one. Lindemann almost gets one to fall. Jackson grabs the rebound. Well, you know, and that's one of the things for Allen East. You talk about they were over whatever on the first half from the perimeter, but they are rebounding the basketball, both on the offensive and defensive end. So they out-rebounded Jefferson in that first half. So it gives them second opportunities. So, you know, heck yes, keep shooting. 12 offensive rebounds for Allen East in that first half, which was crazy as Jones gets fouled and she'll head to the line for the Jones X. Excavating. I'm sorry, that's a tough word for me today. <laughs> the Jones excavating free throws. R.D. Jones excavating. Serving your excavating needs for over 50 years, and that one goes for Ryland Jones. The junior, fantastic athlete, great soccer player, great basketball player, and pretty quick on the track circle as well. Unbelievable. Three-sport athlete, you know, certainly to be commended for that. That one goes as well, too, for Ryland Jones. She has four points. Lead cut to six. Ball quickly ahead to Moore, and now a travel called as Madison Burris shuffled her feet. You know, that's the thing. You know, Allen East, you know, you're, you're not shooting the ball well, but sooner or later they'll drop. You're rebounding the ball well. You're protecting the basketball. Just keep clawing away at the, at the lead. Trying to cut into it more here. Here's Aubrey Young, shoots the three. That's no good. Good rebound from French. She caught that yeah, behind her head. Yeah, she sure did. Lindemann in transition, floats it up, and no good, but she's fouled. So we'll have two more Jones excavating free throws. You know, it's interesting, too, when somebody, when teams play for the second time of the year, that first game won by Jefferson. But when you're playing that second time of the year, you're always curious, you know, how's that other team, you know, taking what happened in the first game? How are they taking that? How are they going to play us? What are they going to do different? And, you know, you don't know until you get into the game. That's why I always said coaches, you know, you, you could run the country if you're a coach because you always have to hope for the best but plan for the worst. You always have to be prepared. So many different scenarios you have to prepare for as well. If they do this, we do that. If they do this, we do that. Yep. If we do this, they'll do that. 23-15, now the score. Lindemann up to seven points. Jones inside, but tacked with the offensive foul. That will be number two on her. 
Again, Delphus Jefferson just so great inside defensively, that time drawing the charge. But how many times have we seen shots blocked, yes. altered, turnovers inside? Yep. The teeth of that defense has been tough. They're just saying, don't come in here. Wide open for three. That's no good. Madison Burris missing. Offensive rebound. Put back no good. And then a jump ball held possession on the rebound. French will get credited with the board, and it'll be baseline out of bounds coming up for Jefferson. And a quick pass from Lindemann Whoa. to French, and French is fouled. How about that play there as the defense not expecting the jump pass? A little Tim Tebow-looking pass from Lindemann. And you know what? I, I'm so impressed. I've said this before. I'm so impressed with Lauren French, but her hand-eye coordination, you know, ability to catch a ball like that, you know, and get it up there. I mean, people don't realize sometimes that the catch is what makes things so tough at times. Her hands are on you. Free throw from French, no good. Your free throws again, sponsored by Jones Excavating. Here's Rylan Jones. Her team trails by 10. Three-pointer on the way. That's no good from Riley Jordan. And a nice rebound from the Wildcats. And, you know, and, and even there, Coach Montgomery just, you know, clapping his hands. It's okay. You know, you took the shot that was open. It looked good. Probably felt good. Everything about it just didn't drop. Now Jones the other way. Pass over to Brooks. She attacks the closeout. Nice pass inside to Nichols who puts it in. Taylor Nichols with the bucket. Haven't seen her on the court without no. Soraya Jackson much tonight. Inside go the Wildcats. Shot floated up by Kimmett. No good. A rebound from Jordan. Tell you what, when you look at that size difference out there, Allen East has really done a good job on the boards. Now French grabs the board. And yeah, a lot of times rebounders for Allen East have been some of the smallest girls yes, on the court. Yes, they have been. Now people think it's all height, but it's all... You know, judgment of where it's coming off, boxing out. Does height help? Eh, it helps a little bit. <laughs> Outside for the Wildcats. Now in to French. French sends it back out. Mid-range jumper, no good. Pass quickly ahead. Brooks is going to have to track it down in an awkward spot. She does. She finds Riley Jordan, tries to send it to Nichols, and, and held possession. Stay here. Yep, that stays here. So Brooks will inbound from the O on Bulldogs. Sends it up for Ryland Jones. Jones inside shot blocked by French. Back inside and we've got a foul on the shot. So Taylor Richardson will have two Artie Jones excavating free throws. Foul was called against Kaya Kimmett. That's her third. Richardson's first free throw, no good. I'm sorry, that's Nichols, Taylor yeah. Nichols. Nichols, a 54% free throw shooter. Claire Brinkman back in the game for Jefferson. Second free throw, no good. Ball eventually picked up by Lindemann. She goes the other way and tries to get between two defenders. She's fouled, and they'll say on the floor. Yeah, they're not giving her the two shots on that. Another good officiating crew tonight. You know, mm -hmm. Tony Castronova, Asia McDonaldson, and Greg Spies, all very veteran officials. They just give it into French. They'll let her back her way down, but good defense from Nichols. Ball last touched by Allen East, though. It'll stay with Jefferson. Allen East is getting their opportunities. Can't come away with it, you know, there. And, you know, create a miss like that, you know, under pressure. But they, they've been at rebounding the ball so well, but that was a tough one to get. Now Jefferson taking their time, up eight here. Moore thought about a three, pulls it down. Skips it over to Claire Brinkman, the freshman. Now a three from the opposite wing. 
It's no good, taken by Burris. Jones pulls up. Nice There's jump one. shot for There's Ryan one. Jones. Jones now with six points as the two brings him back to within six. Here's Burris. French open inside. French goes up and scores. Jackson not quite quick enough sliding over no. to help. Ten she, points for French. Plus Sorry. Lauren French keeps that ball up high every time too. That's a, you know, you really try to teach big people to do that. Now French gets caught trying to block the shot. And actually... Oh, no, they did call French with yeah. the foul. Sorry. Her first. Nichols will shoot the Artie Jones excavating free throws, and that one no good. Mustangs trail by eight. That shot no good either. French grabs the rebound, quickly hands to Lindemann. Lindemann dribbles her way down, and she is fouled. She's so hard to guard in she transition. Is, you know? She's not afraid of the contact. Right, she, she comes down the floor and you don't see her go around contact, you see her welcome it. And she's good with both hands, you know, left hand, right hand, doesn't matter, she went to her left that time. And that is foul, uh, five fouls against the Mustangs, so Lindemann will head to the free throw line, a great free throw shooter. So far, I'd say the ankle looks pretty good. Yeah, she's coming off a tough injury. First free throw good. I saw a picture of, or a still shot of that ankle roll. It looked like the knob of the ankle hit the ground. That's how, that's how far the ankle rolled. One of those, you give a warning before you show it on TV. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We won't show it here. That free throw no good. Jackson pulls down the rebound. Jones up top. Jones dribbles in, passes it out. Three on the way. That's no good. French with another rebound. Lindemann's pass ahead, almost too good as not able to grab it was Claire Brinkman. For whatever reason, half the officials in this gym didn't agree with that call. <laughs> You know, everyone in the crowd could do a better job That's than right. these guys, right? That's what they think. Jones pulls up for three. That's off the glass, no good. How about the hustle yeah. from Kristen Moore? Yeah, I keep talking about that, about that ball sense that she has. You know, just has a nose for the basketball wherever it's at. Moore, quick pass to French. She's open. Ball goes up and in. Oh. And Jefferson has figured something out here in the second yeah. half. French, two easy looks. She has 12 points, and Jefferson leads by 11. Kristen Moore does a lot of nice things on the court. You know, nice pass there. She was open. She could have taken that shot. But nope. She gives it a better shot. Another three-pointer, no good. Allen East still cannot connect on a three. I know if they score here, you don't want to take a timeout. You know, a minute left in the quarter, but it may be forced to. They do get the stop they want. Jones comes down. Here's a three from Brooks. That and one goes. A Loudix Jewelry three for Savannah Brooks. As Allen East finds the bottom of the net, it gets back to within eight. 1.30 on the clock in the third quarter. We'll step aside. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Tonight's timeouts are sponsored by Spallinger Millwright Services, proud to support the Allen East Mustangs. The team at SMS offers quality products from fabrication to installation, located on Hanthorn Road and online at Spallinger.com. That timeout taken by Allen East. They've taken two, they have three left. Jefferson hasn't taken one yet. They lead by eight. Three pointer from the top. That's no good, taken by Claire Brinkman. Now Allen East the other way with some space, and Jones with the easy layup. That's how you want to come out of a timeout. That sure is. Back to within six on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken 
scoreboard. Corner three, can they hit? That's short. Fight for the rebound, pulled in by Brinkman. She lost the handle, but only briefly. Now Brinkman has some space, dribbles to her right, passes out, Moore's three, splash! Okay, I said she had one three on the year earlier. She now has two. She's been a big difference in this. All six points coming from behind the three-point line and the lead back up to nine. Jones goes inside, takes some contact, can't roll it in. It's been a tough night for the two leading scorers on this Mustang squad. Here's Lindemann, 13 what? on the clock. Riley Jordan, boy, she's got her work. She's done a great job defensively. She's Here's got a French. tough challenge. Look at her, just face guard her all the time. Four on the clock, Lindemann, the deep three. That's off to the right. Rebound pulled in by Lehman, and that will do it for the third quarter. Nine point lead for the Delphus Jefferson Wildcats trying to win for the second time against Allen East this year. We'll step aside. Fourth quarter coming up after this on WOSN. Tonight's free throw sponsor is R.D. Jones Excavating. Serving your excavating needs for over 50 years. Visit R.D. Jones Excavating online to set up your next excavation project for your home or business. Good luck to all area athletes. Tonight's three-pointers are sponsored by Loudix Jewelry, your family-owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at loudix.com. You know, mentioned earlier, you know, I'll just say this about our, our sponsors, you know, how, how do we do it? You know, people across the state, for the longest time, you probably know this, WOSN, TV44, WTLW, were the best scouting tools across the state <laughs> because yeah. our tapes were everywhere. And people were just like, how do you guys do that? And you know what? Thanks to the gracious sponsors. No doubt about it. Substitution here is Jones is headed back to the bench. Come out in the 2-3 zone, it looks like. Ah. Nope. Looked like it at first, but Brooks blocks the three from the corner. Mueller trying it, now Brooks. Brooks steps back, mid-range jumper, no good, but Jackson right there yep. to clean it up. Jackson now with five points. Now inside to French, French double teamed. Gets it through the defense, not able to score. Mueller with the rebound though. Skip pass, Kimmich. Or French, Kimmich. Good ball movement. Here. Yes, it is good ball movement. That's Burris, sorry, number 11. Now Burris. Back to French. Up and in. Well, you French. know, it is a box and one right now. They're, they're all over, um, you know, one on one. With Lindemann. With Lindemann. And, you know, that's exactly what they're doing is finding the open person inside. And that's exactly what will be open. 35-26, the Jefferson lead. French has 14 now. Ball taken away, Kimmett in some trouble, and she's tied up. Ball will stay on this end with the Mustangs. Taylor Nichols checks back in, Jackson will take a seat. Jones will check back in. Go to Wildcats number 10, Kaya Kimmett. Kaya Kimmett will check in for Jefferson. Possibly a matchup thing there is as soon as Jones came in, Lindemann went to the yeah. bench. Here's Miller. There Shot up and in. That was a two-pointer. Miller. Miller with her first bucket. 35-28. Now can Allen East get a stop? Inside to French, double teamed. Ball swung around. They're just working that triangle on that right side. Inside, outside. 
I'm sure Jefferson's content to just move the ball around. Now good wow, position Wow, what a nice French, pass. But it's taken away by Brooks. Mustangs get the stop they want. Can they get the bucket at the other end? Jones goes wow. up and puts it in. What a gutty play. Jones had two at the half. She has 10 now. Her team back to within five. Brooks, nice jump on the pass as she knocks it out. I think that box and one is, you know, made them, and it would. It makes anybody a little uncomfortable. They did a good job, Jefferson did, of taking advantage of French on the inside, but. Lindemann outside. Lindemann gets around the defender, and all she could do was foul her. That's Bryn Richardson. Tough to defend one on one. She puts that little juke on you, you know, that little fake and little head move, and boy, you end up bumping her just like they did there. And the hard part is you can't give her a step because you can't. she'll shoot over the top of you yep. from anywhere. Here she is, Liv Lindemann. Lindemann's pass to Kimmick. I'm sorry, that's that was Kimmick. So back out to Moore. Now a foul uh, against Brooks. <laughs> Lindemann's uh, able to draw it. I think she, yeah. There's Lindemann's a little smiling. bit of laughter out there on the, but the official was right there though. She went down the time before, which drew the eyes. Yeah, and went down again. Second foul against the Mustangs. It's the third against Brooks. French with the offensive board. French has 10 the second half. Big response. The three falls for Dylan Miller. Lindemann brings it up. The game. Or the spread, excuse me, only four points. Low scoring game right now. Every possession is critical. Inside French, and Nichols was too low on her, so she'll get tacked with the foul. Her first, team third. Now our first look at Skyler Benson this evening. I think the first half they were playing and, and fronting French on the inside. And a lot more than that, I think they were dropping somebody in, but now playing behind her, that's what given her every opportunity here in the second half. French misses the first, gets the rebound, and they are trying to do anything they can to stop her inside. They tried Benson. Now they're gonna go back to Soraya Jackson, who's ready to check in. Jones finds some space, misses the shot, and nice job by Brooks, who's able to save it off of French. You know, I, I have to give Jefferson a lot of credit right now because they've almost I, totally taken away, I mean, for the most part, Lindemann, but strategically, they're, you know, taking advantage of it and going to French all the time inside, which they have to do. And a steal from Lindemann. Nice job jumping that one. Jump stop and a finish. Yeah. She saw that coming from a long way away. And a timeout taken by Jefferson. It's a Spallinger Mill right timeout as we step aside as well. 3.54 to go in the fourth quarter. 41-33, Jefferson on top. Tonight's free throws are sponsored by R.D. Jones Excavating. Serving your excavating needs for over 50 years. Visit R.D. Jones Excavating online to set up your next excavation project for your home or business. Good luck to all area athletes and go Mustangs. Spallinger Millerite Services is proud to support the Allen East Mustangs. The team at SMS offers quality products from fabrication to installation location, located on Hamthorne Road and online at Spallinger.com. Spalling the middle right timeout taken by Delphish Jefferson after the basket. Morin French up to 18 points. Jackson lost the handle, kicks it outside. It's Miller. Now Aubrey Young back to Miller, lost the handle. 
and steps out of bounds trying to save it. So Jefferson gets it back. That was a big possession, I felt, you know. They, they had it down to four. It's going up to eight. I just, that, that was such a key possession. Jefferson can take a little time off the clock if they want. Look for a good shot. They're in control. Here's Lindemann. Inside, and Jackson able to tip that away. Jones quickly the other way, jump stop. She's fouled on her way up. That was a tough move, you know, going on you know, full speed like that down, dribbling, and then come to a jump stop without traveling. Just so it tough. shows you the athleticism. Isn't it you? sure and does. Super quick getting down the floor. Keeps her balance, draws the foul, and two. Artie Jones excavating free throws coming up. Ten points for Ryland Jones. First team, all NWC selection. That one goes. One, two, two look here. And it works. Brooks takes it away. Brooks goes up. Lefty layup good. Now the other way, and they forget about French as she goes up through wow. contact. She didn't let that contact bother her. 43-36, here's Jackson. Jackson up and under, and French. She got called for that a couple times. Just gets a little carried away, bringing those arms down. Yep. I thought she might have traveled on that, you know, when she caught that inside. But. 2.50 on the clock, two Artie Jones excavating free throws coming up for Soraya Jackson. Seven points for her, make it eight. Second one on the way. That's off the front, but an offensive rebound. What a Aubrey big rebound. Young tracks it down. A three on the way, off the glass, no good. Jackson with the rebound. Jackson loses the handle. You know, fans want a foul there. Yeah, yeah. You always do if you if your player gets hit. Yeah. But it looked pretty straight up and down. Yeah, it did. And she kind of lost control of it a little bit there, so. Now this one gets away from Lindemann. Jones picks wow. it up and puts it in. All of a sudden, it's a four-point game. No problem breaking the press. All the way down inside, shot no good. And another one at the other end where the defender had nice verticality and doesn't get called for the wow. foul. But they turn it right back over. And a timeout taken by Coach Lindemann. 206 on the clock. We've got a close one for you here. A chance for a district final appearance for the winner. We'll be right back. Tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Welcome back to Elida, where it's 43-39. Delphus Jefferson on top, hanging on to a four-point lead. And it seems like every time Alan East makes a little run, Jefferson yeah, will... Yeah, they do. And you know, we've got they've got it to a, a two-possession game right now. Three fouls, so they can afford to be very aggressive on the perimeter. Here's Lindemann. She goes inside, and they cannot keep up with her. Dylan Miller goes down, and Lindemann gets the bucket. 12 points for her. Jackson, she goes inside. Lefty, what a nice up move. And in. What a and nice the move. Foul. Jackson has 10 points and Jones excavating free throw for number 11, and it would bring them back to within three. Yeah, bring him down to one possession, a yeah, one possession game. And again, it goes right back to what you said. You know, Jefferson keeps, you know, getting a, they keep answering. Free throw, no good. Score 
remains 45-41. Mustangs with still pressure. It's a diamond and one. Yep, and this presser, press gave them a little trouble last time. Not this time is Jefferson able to break. Again, they've got a foul to give. Lindemann guarded closely by Jones and she'll draw a foul. It's number three against Ryland Jones. Number four against the team, so the next one will put Jefferson on the line. They send it over the top for French, but it's taken away by Jackson. Not a spot you want to force a pass. As Jones goes inside, goes back out to Miller. Mustangs don't have to rush. Miller inside. Now Brooks through contact wow. and in. Boy, through contact is right. Brooks with nine points brings it back to within two. 30-second timeout taken. It's a Spallinger Millwright timeout. It was taken by the Mustangs. They'll have two left. We'll give you a quick game reset here. The possession arrow pointing Jefferson's way. They lead 45-43. They have three timeouts left, whereas Allen East has two. Jefferson with three fouls. Allen East with four. And Jerry boy, was Stockgrass. that a physical, My physical goodness. going through that. Absolutely. And Brooks and Jones, the two leading scorers on this Allen East team, struggled in the first half, two points each at halftime. But right now, those two, along with Soraya Jackson, helping lead the charge back into this game. Certainly great impact felt by some of the role players as well for the Mustangs. Now some work to do for Jefferson. This time the Mustangs will be in a man. Well, the last few times that Jefferson has tried to go inside the French, it hasn't worked. Here's Lindemann, picks up her dribble, might be in trouble, but is able to get it away. Here she is. How long do the Mustangs wait yeah. before they foul? They definitely don't want to foul Lindemann. And now they do, and Jones will get her fourth, team fifth. So Lindemann will head to the line for two Jones excavating free throws. She's gassed. Look at her hands on she the knees. She sure is. She's had to work. Yeah, she has really had to work for what? Her 12, I think she has? Yeah. She's had to work hard for those. With a sore ankle. Misses the first. So no matter what, it will remain a one possession game. Tough to, you know, like that last, you've got to play for a long rebound on this. Yeah. That one or goes. No rebound. And a timeout taken by Jefferson with 47.8 on the clock. Jefferson with a three point lead will step aside. Be right back with more after this on WOSN. Tonight's timeouts are sponsored by Spallinger Millwright. Proud to support the Allen East Mustangs. Visit them on Hanthorn Road or online at Spallinger.com. Probably not yet, but they've got a foul to give, too. So Inside nice to pass. Jackson, she goes up. She's fouled. Now, it is a three-point game, so she won't be able to tie it here. But two big Jones excavating free throws coming up for Soraya Jackson. Ten points tonight. She's earned all ten of them been tough inside a good matchup between her and Lauren French big free throw that is big Ryland Jones will take a seat little offense defense action for Allen East Jones with four fouls and you know I've got a bad angle to look at this but if you look at where she's standing she's a foot behind the free throw line she does and that she and has all year it worked. yeah both of them go one point game 36 on the clock and Aubrey Young called for the foul as Jones was trying to break free. Or, I'm sorry, Lindemann was trying to yeah. break free. 
So Lindemann has two, but the good news is no time came off the clock right there. Right. Jones excavating free throw, good. For Liz She's got Lindemann. an interesting looking shot. It's almost, doesn't it look a little two handed there, you know? And that's, Sometimes I can't question it when she's averaging just under 30, but you know, it right. puts an odd spin on the ball. 47-45. Three-point game. Yeah, Good-looking shot. Jones brings it down. Here's Jackson. Flare screen, but well covered. Jones. Jones goes up and can't hit. Ball loose. Tipped out of bounds. And it right. will be Allen East yep. basketball. Nineteen point three on the clock. Coach yep. Montgomery. Yep. Will take I thought a he would take out. a timeout here. Gotta draw something up. He had two left. He'll have one when we return. Nineteen point three on the clock. Tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. 19 seconds left. Allen East down three with the basketball. Coach Jerry Snodgrass, you taking the three or taking a quick I'm one I'm usually here? not the gambler, but I would take the three here. We'll see what the Mustangs draw up. Yep. They want Brooks in the corner. In. She doesn't get free, and they pass it to the wrong team. Lindemann takes it and smartly dribbles away. She'll run time off the clock. That's a smart player. And you see the respect between Lindemann and Brooks, two great players who have been battling for four years in the Northwest Conference. Brooks, a first-teamer. Lindemann, know, a first-teamer player of the year. Yeah, and I said earlier, you know, about how important a catch is. Now, there, you know, you kind of forget a little bit. They're still in it. Uh, you know, you're, you're diagramming what you want on that out-of-bounds play during that timeout, but then you kind of lose sight of the fact you got to get it in. Lindemann makes it a four-point game. Coach Lindemann takes a timeout. It's a 30-second timeout and a four-point game. Allen East will have to go the length of the floor and we'll have to score twice. But again, what a great matchup. The first half, look, it was lacking offense, but we saw some great defense. The second half, the adjustments from both teams have been fantastic, and we have been treated to a great game. We really have. You know, physical, strong, big plays. But that, that free throw was key because now it's two possessions. And with two possessions, we'll have to see how Alanis plays this. I have to imagine they're going to go for the quickest shot they yeah. can. I mean, you don't need a three, so. Wildcats will pick him up right around half court. Jones lets it roll. Jones off the screen, the shot's blocked. French with the rebound. French will dribble it out, pass to Lindemann, and Delphus Jefferson will win this district semi and head on to play Ottawa Glendorf in the final. Wow. 49-45, the final score in a hard-fought victory for Delphus Jefferson. And we will step aside, but stay tuned. We'll finish things up here in Elida and have the Stolle Insurance Hustle Award winner for you when we return. Welcome back to the Fieldhouse in Elida. It's the Union Bank Court, and it is 49-45. Delphus Jefferson winning over Allen East. Evan Skilleter, Jerry Snodgrass with you. And Jerry, what a fantastic game we had. We talked about it right before the break, but both of these teams, just it felt like a heavyweight battle. It sure did. You know, you know, Jefferson comes away with the win. They go to the district final. But, boy, you can't take away the effort from Allen East. Some big players. Ryland Jones had, I think, excuse me, Savannah Brooks had nine. But Ryland Jones had, I think it was two, four, six, eight, nine in the second half. 
And, you know, in a low-scoring game, that's big. Some big-time efforts. And tonight's Stolly Hustle Award winner will be announced. Make sure to check out highlights of tonight's Stolly Hustle Award winner on the WOSN YouTube page. And look, <laughs> Lauren French had a big night. We talked about it throughout the broadcast. We were handed a stat sheet, and it is stuffed. It is stuffed. Talk about an all-round player. And I'll say it. She had, what, 19? 20 points, 19 <laughs> rebounds, and two assists, three blocks. Went 10 for 18 from the field. 15 defensive rebounds, four offensive rebounds. Just an absolutely incredible evening. It sure was. You know, in the second half, they really went inside her when they really start boxing one on Lindemann. And she, she produced... She rebounded the basketball well, had a couple very nice passes, and that's reflected in the assist. What an overall great effort by the young lady. And, yeah, three blocks, but defensively just doing so much work inside for Delphus Jefferson. And another congratulations to the Wildcats for moving on. Congratulations to the Mustangs on a great season. I want to thank the Elida Athletic Department for their hospitality this evening. What a fantastic venue for playoff basketball. Also want to thank our sponsors, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, Jones Excavating, Laddix Jewelry, Spallinger Millwright, and Stolly Insurance. And as always, want to thank you, the viewer, for tuning in to High School Basketball on WOSN. For Jerry Snodgrass and our cameraman, Jacob O'Neill, I've been Evan Skilleter signing off. Have a great night, and God bless. <laughs>